What's up everybody? Thank you for joining me for this casual Friday video. You might be wondering where the heck is Randy? Well, she's actually up in the boat. She's not feeling very good, so she couldn't join me for filming this video, but she should be back in the next one. You also might be wondering what the heck is casual Friday? We've never seen a casual Friday video on this channel. Well, let me explain. Randy and I actually polled you guys and asked you if you wanted to see more than one video per week and 84 to 85% of you said you wanted to see more than one video per week. So we thought that was kind of interesting and obviously you guys want to see more. So we figured we're going to film more, put more content out and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Now we're going to be going to a three video a week format. We're going to have two videos that are going to be full length, basically 10 to 15 minutes long per and then one casual Friday video, which is this video right now, it's going to be between maybe three and six minutes long. It's just gonna be a quick little video. And the theme of it is actually Casual Friday. So we don't wanna to work too hard. So everything we do in these videos, we're gonna be doing from chairs. I've already started that trend out and I'm shooting this video. This entire video is gonna be shot from this chair right here and hopefully we can keep that theme going. Now these short little casual Friday videos, they're basically gonna be about you know either a singular topic or just something that we're doing that week. It's gonna be basically a miscellaneous video. We're gonna call Sundays our Storyline Sundays. And that's just gonna be our normal vlog where basically we're just gonna be going through everything that we're doing. We're not gonna be going into crazy detail, but we're just gonna be giving you an idea of the lifestyle, how we do everything, and just that kind of thing. So that's gonna be Storyline Sunday. And that's basically gonna be what you guys are already used to. Tuesdays, we're gonna call those our Technical Tuesdays. Now Tuesdays are gonna be information based episodes they're still gonna be full length so 10 to 15 minutes and they're gonna be information heavy so information data anything to do with the boat that's a little more technical for our normal videos now all that being said let's get into the content for today's casual Friday episode alrighty so here I am under my boat and we're looking at the strut right here now we need to put a new cutlass bearing in that strut. Now if you're not familiar with what a cutlass bearing is, essentially what it does is it goes around the prop shaft and it goes in this strut and it protects the strut and it protects the prop shaft and it basically holds it there. It's lubricated by seawater so as the prop turns it actually gets lubricated. I don't know the service life for this particular cutlass bearing but they should last at least a few years. Now given that this boat was given to us, this cutlass bearing hasn't been changed in a long time. And there's something interesting going on, so let me give you a closer look. So we're looking at the aft end of the strut here, and you can see the old rubber of the old cutlass bearing right there. Now, if you look closely around the black rubber, you can actually see a circle that goes around it, and I believe that circle is the old jacket, so the old bronze jacket that goes around the old cutlass bearing. Now, also, as you can see, it looks pretty dang corroded, so I don't think we're getting that out. I pulled the old set screws that held the old cutlass bearing in there, and this thing's just, it's not coming out. It's, it's really corroded in there. But there's threads in this hole, and then it just goes flat, so I believe that's the old jacket right there. Just wanted you to see that I'm still in this chair, and I'm still filming from this chair. It is casual Friday, after all. My plan for replacing the cutlass bearing is probably a little not recommended. Now, you have to understand that I am a DIYer. I'm not a professional. This is the first time I've ever replaced a cutlass bearing. Definitely, if you have some advice for me, leave a comment down below. I would love to hear it. Now, out of the question, though, is actually replacing this strut. What we're going to try to do is make what we have work. So I ordered this new cutlass bearing to actually fit in the old corroded jacket that's still sitting in there. So all I actually need to do is pull out this old rubber, just figure out how to get this old rubber out and you can see it kind of comes out just by hand right there. Once I get that old rubber out, I should be able to slide this cutlass bearing in. It is the proper diameter. It's for a one inch diameter shaft and it should work. The only issue that we might have is how we're gonna actually get it to stay in place. I plan on using the same holes, just drilling out the old jacket there and putting in the same size set screw. If that doesn't work, I can always drill new holes, tap them and put in new set screws. Now the actual installation is out of the scope of this video, so we're gonna do that in one of our normal storyline videos, but I definitely like your advice. So if you think what I'm about to do is gonna work, definitely leave a comment down below. If you don't think it's gonna work or you think I should do something else, again, leave a comment down below. As always guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you on Sunday for the Storyline Sunday video and hopefully Randy will be not sick. So we'll see. Hopefully she gets better. Have a good one guys. I've got